Is that okay? Yeah, that's really good. Are you you in log mode? I always film in log mode. Nice. Always 4K log I mode. Actually, I actually like log mode as it looks. It does look quite. It gives a cinematic kind of feel to it. It does. I don't know whether you can see the background, but um, welcome to Mount Fix. We're in Oxford. <laughs> it's looking great. I love the architecture here. So while we're here today, we're here to do. Oh, sorry about knocking the camera. I don't want to apologise to you before, it's not as if I bashed your head on the side of the bus. Um, we're here to do street photography, so we're going we're gonna to take photos of poor unsuspe unsus unsuspecting people. Is that proper English, Phil? No. Correct me. You're not going to take photos of people, you're just no. going to capture scenes. That's right, yeah. just going to capture scenes. What he said, that's what we're going to do. But first we're going to pause. Not pause as in pause, as in our pool. Not that it, this one's not our pool, because this is probably Phil's pool still. Phil knows me quite well, and that's the bus stop. So um, that little ding, which I'll, I'll bring out in post, means that it's breakfast time. Phil, is it breakfast on you, Phil? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so gonna... where are we going? Just a quick, quick. We're going to Paul's Cafe. Okay. It's a really, really nice uh, coffee shop. Uh, does nice little croissants. Uh, you can have egg and cheese and bacon. We need a stabiliser for the bus, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> but yes, we, we're going to jump off now in about two, two seconds. Two seconds. Yeah. Okay, well I suppose that means I'm turning the camera off. Yeah. Here we go. So we're in the city of Oxford. We're going to be doing some street photography. So it's just a matter of capturing what we can. I'm going to stick to an 85. So um, Phil's actually shooting classic. So, well, classic, vintage, vintage yeah. lenses. He's got a 135. The um, Nikon Nikkor 135 Which is his lens of choice for today. So we're going to, it's going to be nice to see what kind of flavor the vintage lens adds to the shot. So I'm curious to see that, and then um, I'll see what I get with the 85. So let's go on a bit of a, a ramble, see what we can find out.
Beach. <laughs> Just want to say I enjoyed using manual focus today. That's the 28. This is actually a Minolta lens on a Fuji body. And then you've got the MD and the FX, which is uh, Minolta to Fuji adapter. Okay. So you're pleased with that? Very pleased with that. And your favourite lens that you've been using today? My favourite is in the bag. It's in the bag, oh no. I've got time to get it out. Yeah, do you want me to support your camera? Yeah. So I'm going to hold this. We found... We found that filming on the bus is a mission. It's, it's only it's like when you put stuff down and you're, you're chasing after it. So I've been distracted by this beauty. That's so, what we came here today for. So tell us a little bit about this lens, Phil. Um, um, what's your aperture range on that? This is f2 to f2.8. f2 to f32. But I took it up to. See, that, that wasn't an intentional push into the lens. That was. Um, yeah, this, this is going to be interesting. Now, this lens. <laughs> it's phenomenal, isn't it? I mean, yeah. you've been getting some great footage from it. So. This, this basically is a vintage lens, so it's about 30 to 40 years old, I'm told. Okay. Um, they reckon that the piece of glass in here was the way it was designed and so sharp. Um, it's rumoured to be one of the best lenses to use for Nikon bodies back in the day. Right. Um, but people have repurposed it for other cameras such as the Fuji's, the mirrorless cameras like Sony as well. Okay. Um, and everyone I've sort of researched who have owned and used this lens have told me that it's probably one of the sharpest and one of the most clearest lenses that they've had, um, they've ever used. And it's like a standard to have this in your kit if you are a vintage photography shooter. <laughs> so this particular one um, actually cost me about £82 on eBay. Right, okay. Um, which is surprisingly cheap because most of them go for about 200 so if you want to shop around and want a really piece of you know, good glass rather than you know, spending for a good price, uh, you can spend about a thousand pounds for 70 to 200, 2.8. But this on a crop body is about 200, so it's quite um, similar to having only a 70 to 200. Only problem is the fixed focal length of 135. On this right. One. Which isn't a bad thing, is it? I mean, no. it, it, it snipes out shots like, yeah, and, it, well. and it's got bokeh like butter. Oh yeah, and um, you're you're a fan. I'm definitely a fan. So, but it's manual. I will try and send Steve the pictures over, and he can share them on his channel. That's what I was going to ask. Am I okay to pop a couple of pictures yeah, up? Absolutely. So I'll send you some images, and you can have a look and see what they look like. Um, to be honest, this the only letdown is it's manual focus, so you really have to. Um, use a lot of focus peaking, um, trying to find your highlights, that kind of thing. Right, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, back to me. I've got no idea if I'm in focus or not. Am I in focus? Yes. Do you want me to hold your lens? Yeah, I've got it. <laughs> sure, let me hold it. We don't want, we don't want it being damaged at all. So, so this, is, this is Phil's baby. And um, it's alright, it's, it's, it's no... Not that I'm shooting on the 85. I've been shooting today. Oh, not on that one. We're going to have to get off soon as well, so I better make this quick. No, I'll be shooting on the 85. I'll let you know when we. Okay. So, so these have been our, our main lenses of choice of the day, haven't they, really? Do you think? Yeah. So, I'll show you some shots that we've achieved with this, and some shots that we've achieved with this. Now, you've got to bear in mind that. Um, Feels a much better photographer than me, so that's going to have a you know a bit of a plus point on it. I'm not but, arguing with that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but no. see what you think. I mean, you'll, you'll see some bits and pieces that are taken from both. Yeah. I mean, manual hones your true photography skills. Phil's been manually focusing and nailing most of his shots throughout the course of the day, but it does take some getting used to. The autofocus capabilities on a lens that's actually manufacturer specific tends to work really well with the camera and um, allows you to get quick easy shots so this is definitely for me because I like my quick easy shots but this is this is your enthusiast type lens and you can get a whole array of primes but I mean this this lens just to give you an idea on price this lens probably costs around about 550 quid 600 quid if not more I think yeah you can get 
six of these, if not more, in different variations for this one. So, let you be the, you know, make, make your decisions. Is this full frame as well? Is it full frame paper? Yeah. Okay. So there we go. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the street photography and um, I'll catch up with you next time. Don't forget, like and subscribe to the Motor Dicks and um, live to learn, but, don't, but never forget to learn to live. Sweet day.